and they came here recently on their bikes and they said there's no way I'm jumping this on a dirt scoot. <laughs> Why not come here on my own? Oh my god! Before I hit up the jumps, I haven't been to in about 10 years since I was a kid when I used to ride BMX. I do need to change the bars on this because they are super small. Tell this thing's old because it uses a starter. Gonna need a spacer. I am very scared for my health and safety in this video. I do have a helmet, but the dirt ski has a mad head tube angle and the front bearings are about to break. But I've always wanted to go here. It's been about 10 years since I've been here. They've actually been rebuilt. They've also made some giant step up with at least like a 20 foot roll. And you'll see it in a minute. It's an absolute madness. I tried to fix up the dirt ski, but it ain't having it. But I, me being me, I'm gonna ride it anyway for you guys. Uh, Cause I go away soon around the Mediterranean. I wanna get a few videos out for while I'm over there. I'm quite scared. So if you haven't smashed a like already, make sure you do so. And also subscribe if you're new. Anyway. This place is only about two miles from my, well, no, probably about a mile and a half from my house. So I'll catch you there. Let's get it. As per usual. Thumbs up if you think McDonald's should bring plastic straws back. I hate these, they go all soggy and stuff and oh. I don't know if people still come here or what. They obviously have because they've been rebuilt. This place is bringing back memories. Many memories, man. Also, I haven't ridden a dirt skier in absolutely ages. I don't know if I'm gonna be very good, but uh, to be honest, if the head tube angle wasn't like this, I reckon I could do some things. I've done some motions. The bars are very tall as well. And with that head tube angle, it's not gonna be pleasant. We'll just have to find out, won't we? Oh my God. Wow. I'm having hella flashbacks guys. I'm having hella flashbacks. I'm getting so many flashbacks, it's mad. Right, this dirt skew is actually so heavy as well. Definitely will come back here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Right, I think it's time to strap you guys to the helmet. I'm gonna have a little roll around first. Try this out. Let's get it. Here we are. Really don't know how this is gonna go with this dirt scoop. Got no grip tape as well. Oh my God, what the hell's happened here though? Oh well, <laughs> have we got a five mil? I really don't know how this is gonna go. I have uh, no idea what I'm doing. Just came here to kind of explore and maybe try it. But if I do try it, then yeah. Soon I've never rode a dirt scooter once as well. And it felt nothing like this one, quite shook. I might give you guys a little tour in a minute as well. I'll just go roll down here, roll around the burn and see how that feels first. See if this scooter's actually rideable. Let's get it. This thing really doesn't need grip tape. Anyway, 
it rolls that'll do for now this is the ramp i really have been looking at oh so it's about eight foot takeoff we're a giant rolling into this big step up straight into a tree <laughs> but i reckon if i hit this right it's going to send me into starport it's about 20 miles from here so i'm gonna roll down it first this grip tape it's like not even grip tape <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> well, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. I at least want to try it. I at least want to try it. Oh my god. I need to stop saying oh my god and just to be fair I want to go from halfway first to see what the rolling's actually like to me it doesn't look very smooth don't help when I've got no grip tape it's not safe this okay right all right that's all right let's try to go from the top oh, I'm scared I just want to jump it I just want to jump it you know what, that's the rolling, but I think we need a little bit more speed, you know. I feel like we have to go from here. Oh my God, this thing, this thing is huge. I just spoke to my mates that used to ride here and they came here recently on their bikes and they said, there's no way I'm jumping this on a dirt scoot. I just want to jump it. That's it. I'm here on my own as well. Why, why did I come here on my own? Oh. Right. Let's get it. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, I went. Ah. <laughs> I did it. What the hell? That was scary as hell. Oh. Oh my god. I actually jumped it. I literally came here with intentions of jumping it, but I did it. Now there's no pump either. I'm gonna try pump it and I might actually try do some tricks. What? But either way, if this don't work and I don't get many tricks here, I've got some insane GoPro clips for you guys at a normal skate park that you guys are gonna check out. I've been here, how long have I been here? I haven't actually stopped filming. Six minutes 40. Alright. That's good. Alright, let's do it. Let's go again. I reckon if I had grip tape, this would be a lot better. We're even a better dirt scoop. Because I know the wheel don't spin very much. I listen to this. Yeah, mad. I just had a bang. What the hell? This place is creepy, man. Let's get it. Let's get it again. Oh. All right, let's go up even higher. Get some more speed. All right, now I'm out of bounds. Like, I'm, I'm in the bushes now. Oh, this is scary. I'm literally on top of the hill now. It's kind of that steep that I can barely even stand up here. Guys, comment down below if you'd try this. I definitely want to come down here on a better dirt scoot, man. 100%. Don't forget any tricks on this. I'll be so stoked. Guys, smash the live button right now. All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this is so fun now. It's still scary because I'm slipping on the grip tape as we go up, but I'm, I'm doing tricks up it, man. This is huge. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go again. <laughs> I was literally saying I'm gonna jump it and then go. But I'm having fun now. I'm actually having fun. I shouldn't make that. That's so scary. I'd love to know how fast I'm going. I'd really love to know how fast I'm going. Bar bar maybe. Who knows? Let's go. Come on. Okay. Okay, right, we spun the bar bar. I'm gonna get this bar bar over this and then we're gonna go explore. You guys are probably looking at this and thinking, oh, but you could probably send like double backflip on that. Like, nah, this ramp sends you out. And also, it ain't clean either. It is very bumpy, very old. No one uses this place anymore. And I'm here using it. <laughs> There we go. Yes. Oh, yes. There we go. 
I know it's only a bar bar, but by how stoked I am, you can see. I really wish you guys could see this in real life, man. I'm six foot two. It's way up there. Way up there. I'll try and get a perspective later. Should we go down here? It's not meant to roll down, but. Oh, it's all mushy, man. What is that? That is. Oh my god. That is a big step up. That is one big step up. Start there, come down. If this video gets 500 likes, I'll clean this up and I'll come down on a better dirt scoop and I'll give it a try. I'm six foot. These ramps are big, guys. That ain't no joke. On the past like three months, I've been riding my little, my little local. So this is quite scary for me now, but. But if I ever get a bed dirt ski with bearings that actually work, I'll come down, I'll try these. But today was kind of like a tester, but obviously I wanted to film it. I just wanted to see if this is actually rideable, or even, well, in my head, fixable, because I had the intentions that it was all gonna be broken down. I came here before and it looked like it wasn't even rideable, but I came here with the intention to send it. And that's what I did. And I managed to jump that thing and bar bar it. But maybe one day I'll come down, clean all the mud off, and actually get a better ride on this thing. You can see that. Squirrel. I really want to go and look at that one. How do you even get up there? Don't tell me this is the run up here. This is the top of the hill, man. I didn't even know this existed up here, man. Oh my days. <laughs> the, road, the road is right there. I did not know in my 10 years of living around here that this even went around here. Unless this has been recently built, I don't know. But you'd come down here apparently. And obviously rolling into it and off. So they've made a big bully. They've made a big jump into it. And then obviously you go down. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> I need a heart attack. Oh my god, right, I'm not doing that again. But anyway, that's for another time if we get enough support. These ramps are rideable. I'll come down here with a spade, some water, and I'll sort these out. But well, I'm pretty happy. I jumped it. <laughs> I actually jumped it. Let's get a little trial run on the go. A little downhill run. Why not? Probably gonna go too quick for this and I might eat absolute shit, but why not? Let's go from here. Oh. oh, then you hit that. Mad. I'm doing that again. I never knew this led to that. I was wondering how you get the run for that and I found it. A bit of spontaneous running about. Found a new jump. I'm out of breath as you so if you can tell by my breath, this is a uh, this skewer is very heavy to carry. All right, well let's get some more speed. Woohoo! Happy with that? Ah, oh, more than happy with what I've managed to get done today. But this place, it's still fun, man. I had fun, even though the dirt scoot's trying to kill me. I actually had a good time on my own, which is rare, which is rare for the UK. Anyway, hopefully I enjoy myself. I'm going to head back to the car. No fuel as per usual. Oh my God, I am sweaty. As you can see guys, I tried for this video. Uh, I got very scared. I never ride dirt scoots. I never ride them kind of ramps. So this is very out of my comfort zone. And that's what life's all about, man. Get out of your comfort zone, go do something, even if it's on your own. Oh man, I'm sorry, like I did today, as you can tell, I am completely out of my comfort zone right now. Sweating me absolute tits off, I tell ya. Go do something amazing, go do something. Go get an adrenaline rush, go and have fun. That's what it's all about, man. That's what I'm trying to do for you guys. That's what I'm trying to promote to your faces, to your screens. And mate, I tell you what, I've had a good time. I know I'm sweating, I'm all very, 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 very dusty. That's literally just from dirt flying off the back end of the scoop, man. 
I did think about it earlier, I'm not going to regret this, I'm not even going to do anything. But if you put your mind to it, and your effort, as you've seen me do, then you can do anything. If you want any scooter parts, make sure you use Smith25 at Drone Scooters on their website. Use the 20, get you 25% off, it supports you, it supports me. Same with on dog scooters, if you want any other scooter parts, use Smith10. Copy merch, not much left, so link in description. And go check out some of the videos, I'm going to go get myself cleaned up and then uh, go and have a beer. Alright, peace guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.